All right, everybody, it is time to gather around the rumor mill here today to talk about a potential PlayStation showcase that could be upcoming or I could be uh, could be sipping from the copium cup here today by even discussing any of this. And this could all be an egg in my face very, very soon. But today, PlayStation dropped a live action commercial and there's this uh, quick like second long shot of the stock market index thing and you clearly see i guess you don't clearly see it it's only there for like half a second but it says december 3rd 2024 and uh, you, you you know that is such a stretch to get to where we are here talking about a playstation showcase but i think we're all hungry we're, we're all yearning for a showcase we're yearning for the days of old from playstation we want to be excited about some new, you know, big heavy hitter first party games coming out. And um, it's been so long since we've had one of those shows that really, that, that felt like those E3 of Dreams. Years back in, you know, from like 2015 all the way up to like, what, 2018, 2019. That crazy run of every single year. Some uh, big heavy hitters announced and uh, pretty uh, consistently great showcases. And so that December 3rd, 2024, that date has significance to it outside of our speculation here about a showcase. We could be talking about, you know, that's the 30th anniversary for the PlayStation 1. The PlayStation 1 came out December 3rd, 1994. So uh, reasonable minds would probably lean towards that as something to do with just a little nod to the PlayStation 1 and being like, hey, you know, 30 years later, here we are. And it's probably, if we had to be completely honest, just a most likely a throwaway line, a throwaway nod, a throwaway little tip of the cap. But fans are going to do what fans are going to do. And uh, myself included, I, I start speculating. I start thinking, I'm like, is there any likelihood whatsoever that we can get a showcase here? And I know a lot of the, the speculation, the rumor has been, are PlayStation moving, are, are they moving away from the showcase format in general and relying more on state of plays? And definitely over the last uh, couple years, it would seem that way. The annualized showcase I obviously is no longer a thing. Um, and I, I think that that makes sense. I don't think you necessarily need to do them on an annual basis. I think that for the longest time, they had the goods, they had the product to uh, appease, you know, the hardcore fan base, the people who are tuning in for the state of plays and the showcases. And now they're wanting to tap into a more casual fan base with the, the live service games. I shouldn't even say casual. That's not necessarily the right word. Um, just a, a, a larger, a broader audience they're trying to appeal to with their live service games. But I think whenever you put the name showcase on something, there is that level of expectation that we're going to get those E3 of Dreams style moments and announcements. And if you don't have the goods, and if it's the hardcore fan base who is more often than not tuning into these big shows or state of plays in general, and you're rolling out a Concord, a Foam Stars, a Fair Games, a Marathon, or whatever the case may be, things that might not necessarily elicit the reaction that you're looking for from, you know, just an overall perception of the brand. Like, if you, if you want to put on a show and have a more positive feeling that people leave the show with, then, yeah, if, if a lot of your first party stuff in the cooker or a lot of your a lot of your focus is in an area that might not appease the base, then why trot out there and inevitably disappoint the base when you have one of these big showcases and it doesn't live up to those to those lofty expectations that you set last generation? Which, you know, I, I think that sucks. I think we could all agree that that sucks, but I, I just I think they're comfortable with their space in the console market and that's allowing them to potentially alienate some long-term fans to pursue new fans. And 
I, I don't think there's someone, you know, like they wouldn't do this in the 360 era. No doubt. They wouldn't be pulling moves like this in the 360 era. So I, I just think they're a little too cozy right now. So it would be very nice to see a showcase that breathes some new life into this generation for PlayStation that, that kind of, you know, just gets people excited. But let's talk about which first party studios could possibly have something ready to show for a December 3rd, 2024 showcase, if we actually do get one. Um, so I'm just going to rapid fire run through this. And uh, if a showcase, you know, is actually announced, I'll do like a full deep dive predictions video. But let's go through some of their first party teams. Uh, Sony Bend, I, I think absolutely should be ready. It's been, you know, since 2019 when Days Gone released. And with all of these studio closures and, and just all of the chaos internally, I worry about Sony Ben for sure. You know what I mean? I think we're we're kind of getting to that point where if they close another studio, I wouldn't be... One other one that we'll talk about here, but Sony, it wouldn't be surprising to me if Sony Ben was the next studio that, that Sony closed. Um, and I, I really, really hope that doesn't happen. I mean, what a fucking legacy that that would be just throwing to the wayside. Blue Point... No doubt, I think it's time for for Blue Point to reveal what they're working on. Original uh, uh, rumor right now is that, is that it's a new IP. I hope that that's true. Been since 2020, since we uh, since Demon Souls released. Bungie, I think definitely we'll see Marathon. Fire Sprite, I don't know. Um, they they just released that Horizon VR game in 2023. They're supposedly working on a horror game. Uh, I don't know. I, I I'd say probably not. Gorilla. Hmm. Maybe that multiplayer thing that was it was NCSoft, I think that they were working with for like the MMO game. Maybe we see that. We definitely don't see anything like Horizon Three or anything like that. Haven, we'll definitely see fair games. House Mark, uh, possibly. I, I think that if their game is going to be smaller again, if they're going to kind of continue in that double A approaching triple A space, then maybe it could it could be about time to see House Mark. Insomniac, I think yeah, without a doubt, we'll see something from insomniac rather it be venom i don't know with the the tony todd passing i don't know maybe if that game is pretty much already if all the dialogue and shit if all the voice acting work has already been uh finished then venom i i think would make sense wolverine has been forever since we've seen that media molecule unlikely but i hope so because once again talking about sony bend i feel the same way about media molecule i think those are the two studios that I, if, if another studio gets closed, another, you know, core console studio, I could see it being one of those two. So I hope they have something to show. Naughty Dog, I doubt it. Um, Polyphony, probably not. Sony Santa Monica, possibly. Um, they, uh, the rumor was they had another game in development alongside God of War Ragnarok in 2022. So maybe we could see that with, with Corey Barlog heading that one up. Sucker Punch obviously team asobi you know maybe some more dlc for astrobot sure so i mean just going off of what we went through there you're talking about sony ben definitely blue point probably bungie absolutely uh da, 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 da. haven with fair games yes house mark a decent likelihood insomniac pretty strong likelihood um let's see sony santa monica sucker punch i mean you're talking about eight, nine studios or so that should be about ready to reveal a new game. You know what I mean? So like, I don't know, man. I think that, eh, listen, I, if you had to put me on the spot right now and say, do I think we get a showcase December 3rd, 2024? I, looking at that lineup of studios that should be ready, I would probably say, yeah. You know, I, maybe once again, Am I sipping from the copium cup? Yes. I, I love single player, first party, blockbuster, narrative driven, triple A PlayStation games. Like I, I love that style of experience. It's like my favorite style of game. That third person over the shoulder, the shit that everybody makes fun of. That's the shit I love, you know? So yeah, there's definitely likely some cope going on here. I want to see that shit. We don't get as many of those as we used to. And I'd like to see a little a little lineup to, to be like, okay, cool. We got some shit on the horizon. Pun intended, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I actually would say, I, I think we, 
I, I think we are going to get this. I, what, let me be very clear. Do I realistically think we're going to get the showcase? Or am I hoping, if, if I had to lean one direction or the other, it's more hope. But I, I feel like that, you, that, that lineup, that, that's a lot of studios that should be ready to go. So they got to announce that shit sooner or later. Maybe it's early 2025, mid-2025, who the fuck knows, but I'm going to be an optimist today. I often lean on the pessimistic side. I'm going to say we do get that showcase December 3rd, 2024. But I have a question for y'all before we dip out of here. What would y'all rather see? The the days of old where we had a roadmap and we kind of knew what was on the horizon? Or the new way where it's like uh, PlayStation revealed Astrobot in late may and released it early september so literally less than a two month marketing window it seems like playstation is trying to really clean that up and uh, really trying to not announce games too soon that way they're not constantly showing off the same shit over and over and over at these uh, showcases and, and state of plays and so what do y'all prefer do y'all prefer having a roadmap kind of like how xbox is doing and getting these pretty consistent banger showcases or do you prefer okay the game was announced and six months later it's out and not having that big marketing buildup i gotta say i i've never been anti big marketing build up. like i of course if it's some shit where like i think wolverine maybe is a little bit over the top announced in 2021 we probably won't get it until 2026 2027 like yeah, that's that's too long. But a two, three year, like you announce it and you build it up for two, three years, I don't really mind that at all. You know, seeing periodic updates, getting to know what the studio is working on, that way there's not all the rampant speculation speculation about uh, first party PlayStation's in the gutter. And then, because, you know, I'm the person saying all that. I'm the person constantly speculating that there's some serious problems going on internally, which I still do believe. Um, and I think that a lot of that clarity could be provided if you announced a game and then two years later it released, a year later it released, which, you know, like, uh, that obviously with Wolverine, they still are doing that in some cases, but I think that might be more Marvel related than it is Sony related where they had to announce it because the same thing happened with Blade and, uh, but I don't know, Spider-Man 2 didn't get that same type of treatment. Spider-Man 2 got a pretty quick marketing campaign, but regardless, my question for y'all. How would you rather see that rolled out? Announcement to a quick release or announcement to, to have an idea of what these studios are working on and then over the course of the next two years they market the game and uh, release it when it's ready, I guess. So yeah, man, let me know what you think about all this shit in the comments down below. Do you actually think we're going to get a PlayStation showcase on December 3rd, 2024 or am I full of cope? here today so yeah hit me in the comments let me know what you think and i shall see you good people very soon goodbye